Good morning, everyone. Today, we're here with some great news to share with our audience, especially with our American viewers who get Social Security benefits. The Social Security Administration has declared a new payment of $800 monthly program participants. More than 60 million Social Security pensioners are expected to benefit from this development. We'll be delving deeply into this announcement's specifics and what it means for you around the country. Welcome to the most up-to-date information on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks specifically designed for American seniors, including SSI, SDI, and VA recipients, can be found by visiting Updates area. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's get started. Before we dive right into today's topic, let me just say how much we appreciate your support. If you find this information useful, please consider liking and subscribing to the video. To our channel. It's totally free and aids in our ability to provide you with the most recent information on Social Security and other crucial matters impacting Americans in their retirement. Now let's discuss the reasons this news is so vital. As many of you are aware, the United States has been dealing with a serious economic crisis that has continued into 2024. One of the main concerns is inflation, which is still a big issue because prices are rising at an alarming rate. This scenario has been especially problematic for tough for people with fixed incomes, like as Social Security claimants. After spending their entire lives working and supporting the system, these people are suddenly finding it more and more difficult to make ends meet. The consequence of it is impossible to overestimate Social Security beneficiaries' inflation while maintaining the same monthly benefits. Those cash purchasing power keeps declining. It's terrible to see how many seniors are unable to pay for needs like food and shelter. That has rendered many older Americans defenseless and in need of further assistance. For this reason, the Social Security Administration's recent announcement approving this new $800 payment is so important. It is crucial to note that this payment is separate from the normal monthly benefits that beneficiaries already receive. This payment is a step towards giving much-needed respite for the hardships experienced by America's elderly. Let's pause to discuss the more general. Given the American Social Security system, many advocates like myself think that Social Security ought to be deemed a fundamental right for all citizens. This would guarantee that senior citizens in our nation can live honorable lives for the duration of their lives. Let's get into more detail about Social Security benefits in just eight days. The federal government and Congress have the authority to make this a reality, therefore we should all be advocating for it during their retirement years. This month, three Social Security payments are expected to be sent to retirees. Eligible seniors might get up to $873 in this initial payment, which is part of the monthly payment schedule. Based on variables like birth date and the kind of benefits obtained, it is important to remember that the maximum benefit amount may change based on a number of variables such as when you decide to retire and start making claims. Advantage. For example, the highest monthly payment that any Social Security beneficiary in the United States can get for someone who retires at the full retirement age of 77 is $873. Maximum payments at age 67 are $822 per month. For people who choose to file for Social Security at age 62, the earliest age at which benefits can be claimed, the monthly payout is much less at $227. These numbers show average monthly incomes. Actual amounts may differ depending on a person's employment history and system contributions. Frequently, people send me email inquiring as to why their payout differs from those friends or neighbors who receive Social Security benefits. The criteria that are unique to each individual hold the key to the solution. Your contributions during your working years and the age at which you retired have a significant impact on the amount of your benefit, which you choose to begin receiving benefits for. This is the reason it's imperative that you speak with a financial advisor or tax expert before deciding when to start receiving Social Security payments. They can assist you in comprehending the long-term consequences of your decisions and assist you in making the best choice for your particular circumstance. Now let's discuss the March payment schedule. Your birth date determines when you will receive your Social Security benefit. Payments are normally deposited on the first day of each month 
For individuals who are eligible for retirement benefits, or SSDI Social Security Disability Insurance, and were born before May 1, 1999. This implies that your date of birth will determine the type of benefits you get. For everyone else, your money should have arrived on March 1st. The payment schedule is as follows. On March 13th, if your birthday falls between the 1st and 10th of the month, you will receive your payment. The Social Security Administration advises waiting three days before contacting their employer if your payment does not arrive on the appointed day. Those with birth dates between 11 and 20 will receive their payouts on March 20th. Client Support Unfortunately, there have been issues with this program's customer service, including lengthy wait times and trouble reaching representatives. This is an area that urgently needs improvement to properly serve the millions of Americans who receive Social Security benefits. While we're talking about senior assistance, allow me to briefly mention a few more options that can be useful particularly for people who might not be eligible for Social Security or require additional assistance. In the U.S., there are a plethora of nonprofits and charities committed to providing various services and advantages to older persons. The National Council on Aging is one such group that provides a range of numerous outreach projects and welfare schemes for seniors from low-income families, offering support for feeding programs, accessible accommodation, cheap medical treatment, Nursing Care, and Transportation Volunteers of America is another excellent resource that provides substantial assistance to those in need. Concentrating in particular on senior care and housing alternatives, support one of the biggest databases of senior living alternatives in the nation is Senior Living. It includes everything from hospice care to independent living arrangements, making it a great tool for elderly people and their families looking for alternative living options in the event that food insecurity is a concern. According to, America has a vast network of food banks that strive assiduously to end hunger. According to their 2020 annual report, the charity fed around 166 million meals to elderly citizens. It is vital that seniors don't have to choose between putting food on the table or paying for their medications. A group that assists senior citizens in finding employment possibilities is for seniors who want to work or need to supplement their retirement income. They link elderly workers with companies that respect their expertise. And these are just a few of the numerous organizations that support America's senior population. Others even provide resume evaluation services to help older job seekers put their best foot forward in the job market. I urge it is recommended that all of our viewers look into and utilize these options if they or a loved one need help. It's okay to ask for help, especially in these difficult economic times. With that said, let's get started. Returning to the recent Social Security announcement, it's crucial to understand that while the additional $800 payment is wonderful news, it's a temporary solution to the persistent problems of inflation and the rising cost of living can provide serious obstacles for retirees and elders, which opens up a larger discussion about Social Security's future and how society may better assist its aging population. Many experts contend that more thorough to guarantee the Social Security program's long-term viability and to give seniors the assistance they need in the face of economic uncertainty, modifications are required. Among the solutions that have been suggested, is changing how cost of living increases are determined to more accurately represent the real costs incurred by seniors, including increasing the income threshold due to Social Security levies and looking into additional sources of revenue to improve the program's financial stability. It's also important to remember that the difficulties elderly citizens' worries go beyond money. Access to health care, long-term care, and social isolation are all important issues that must be addressed to guarantee older Americans have a decent standard of living as we age. Keep navigating these challenging situations. We need to continue to be an informed and involved society. Therefore, I urge everyone who watches to keep up with Social Security news and policy debates and to speak out. Before we conclude today's video, make your voice heard by getting in touch with your political representatives and promoting the changes you wish to see. I would like to emphasize to everyone the significance of budgeting 
and being ready for retirement while receiving Social Security. Offers a vital safety net. If you find this video useful, you should investigate additional retirement savings choices, such as 4001 IRIS or other investment vehicles, if you're still in your working years. This will help you supplement your future Social Security income.